Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy cow. Oh, holy smokes. What? What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here. And welcome back to another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. Today's episode is going to feature a microscopic lure that I found at Walmart. I am currently hiking through the woods. There is actually a pond hidden back here that has fish in it. All right guys, I made it out here to the fishing spot. The pond is right here behind me, but I'm excited to show you guys these micro lures that I found at Walmart. They are actually a microscopic swim bait. This is the smallest little swim bait that I've ever seen. Okay, I just dropped the swim bait and I cannot find it. <laughs> All right, first cast. I can't really get too much distance. This is a really light jig head. This first spot I'm at is really shallow and I'm not seeing any signs of fish, so I'm actually gonna work my way around this pond, see if I can find a different location that's a little deeper. I think these fish are gonna be a little bit further out. This water is still pretty cold. Oh, fish on, fish on. It's a little bass. Yes, there we go, guys. First fish. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's one. All right, second fish, another little bass. Oh, see you later, buddy. I've been fishing for about 30 minutes so far and I'm pretty impressed by the action of this swim bait. It sinks very slowly, which is good because this water is pretty cold. The main problem I'm having is the fact that I can't really cast it too far. The jig head that uh, came with the swim bait is very tiny, so I may up the size of that, but there's a couple more spots I wanna try on this pond, then I may go to a different location. Well, I've been fishing at this pond for a couple hours. Unfortunately, I've only caught two fish. I was really surprised by that. There's just not much going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and change up locations, go to a different lake and fish there. Thanks, I appreciate it. Any luck? No. Hey, what's your name? Doug, man. Doug nice to meet you. Yeah, Nick. Nick nice to meet you yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, really? Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a little a yellow bass, maybe. All right guys, caught my first fish out here at the lake. Little yellow bass. It's taken a while, but finally caught one. See you later, buddy. Ooh, there's a fish. There we go. A little one. It's tiny, but I'll take it. See you later, buddy. All right guys, so I've been fishing out here for about 30, 45 minutes. Caught two fish so far. Caught a yellow bass and a crappie, so I will take that. But I changed up my approach a little bit. I actually found a bobber on the ground. And shortly after I put that on my line, I actually caught that crappie. So I'm feeling, feeling pretty hopeful about this. Oh, and I'm snagged. Dang it, there goes my bobber. Well, I lost that bobber and I just found another. So I guess that works out. Oh, 
Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a nice one. Holy cow. Oh, holy smokes. What? What? <laughs> holy cow, this is by far the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Holy cow. Woo! Holy smokes. I got a scale on my way in, but this is, this is by far the biggest crappie I've ever caught. Yeah, yeah, nice. 1.36. See you later, buddy. I'm speechless right now, guys. That was insane. By far the biggest crappie I've ever caught. The weight on him was 1.34 pounds, which is insane to me. I know they get bigger, but that was by far the biggest one I've ever caught. So I am just ecstatic right now. This went from a slow day of fishing to a fishing day that I'll never forget. So I'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit longer, but I'm just so pumped right now. There's a fish. It's like a little bluegill. Go from catching a giant crappie to a tiny little bluegill. Oh, see you later, buddy. There's a fish, not very big. Another little bluegill. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. All right guys, it's uh, getting dark, so I think I'm gonna call it. What a day of fishing. It started off super slow. I'm talking two tiny bass after two hours of fishing. I came to this spot, a part of the main lake. I caught a couple little fish, and then I hooked into the biggest crappie that I've ever caught or seen in person. It was, that was just crazy. I'm speechless. That was just insane, that fish. So I'm, uh, I'm out of daylight, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. But as far as these little swim baits go, I mean, how can I not like them? I just caught that giant crappie with it. But uh, I think they're gonna do better this spring when the water warms up. They're very realistic looking, so I think they're gonna do pretty well. But overall, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. I just dropped the swim bait and I cannot find it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, here it is. Okay.